everybody. I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty, where we women over 50 use great skincare, makeup, and health and fitness to look and feel our best. Today, I'm excited to bring you video number five in my Slim You in 22 series on an easy way to work out. And if staying slim, healthy, and attractive is important to you too, and you're over 50 or over 40, it doesn't matter your age, then I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and or give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Okay, again, this video is on a great, easy way to work out. It's how I've been getting my cardio for about the past six months. It's something called high intensity interval training or HIT. And basically when you do a HIT workout, it's a great way to get the same cardio effects, the same great exercise benefits in about half the time. And in a few moments, I'll be showing you what I've been doing to get my HIIT workouts in. And basically that is that I'm using a Yasuda stationary bike. And the Yasuda people were so nice to send me out their bike, but I didn't have to make a video about it. I just had to use it. And if I liked it, I would put it in a video and I absolutely love it. And the reason I particularly love the Yasuda bike is the model that I used is totally quiet. And so what I've done, and I urge you to do this too, I have incorporated a little bit of working out on the bike every evening when I'm doing something I normally do with Alan, which is watching TV. Every night we come down, we watch a movie or a series on Amazon Prime or Netflix. Now, instead of just sitting on the couch the whole time and feeling slightly guilty about it, I actually make it into a workout time because the first 10 to 15 minutes of that movie, I am now on the Yasuda bike in front of the TV with Alan and it is so quiet and it is such a beautiful bike. This is my basement and this is my family room portion. There's the little bar there, but this is the exercise room and I have a lot of different equipment in the exercise room. I have an ab machine, I have a rowing machine, a recumbent bike, treadmill, etc., lots of weights. And I use this room Monday through Friday morning to do my workouts, but I was never very good at adding cardio. To add cardio, I realized that I needed something that I could do in the evenings in front of the TV. That's why I got the Yasuda bike, and I absolutely love this little bike. I've been using it for the past month, and it really makes a huge difference in my cardio. I started at like 10 minutes on the bike and now I'm up to almost, well, about 25 minutes. But the wonderful thing about having it out here in the family room is Alan and I watch TV in the evenings. There is a great show there that is Two Plastic Surgeons, very interesting show. Alan does not watch that show, but I do. We come down here most evenings and watch a movie but I just don't want to do my exercises in the exercise room. So having the Yasuda bike out here is absolutely perfect. And I got this model. It is the most expensive model, but it's still very reasonable. I got this model because it is totally quiet. When you are on it, it is totally quiet. It does not disturb Alan. I can hear the TV over it. It is absolutely wonderful. And some things I like about it are everything is adjustable. The seat is adjustable. You can slide it back and forth to suit your leg height. And when you are on the bike and your leg is extended, it should be totally straight. So you want to adjust the seat height accordingly. And then also the handlebars go in and out. And one thing I really like about it, it has this great computer on it to tell you your time, your distance, the RPMs, just a full range of things on that computer there. But what I like best about it is this little thing is perfect to fit my cell phone or an iPad, something like that. And so on the days when I come down in the morning, I love to watch YouTube videos while I'm doing my cardio. And in the exercise room Monday through Friday, I largely do sort of my weight routine, which is my Power 90 routine. And then Tuesday and Thursdays, I really like to come out here and work on the Yasuda bike. And in just a few moments, I'll be showing you more about my HIIT workout that I do in that bike. And since I made that portion of the video, I have realized there is an even more effective way maybe to use a bike to do a HIIT workout in about 10 minutes. Very, very easy. And if you'd like to have me make a video for you so you can bike roll along with me, I would love to do that. Just ask for that in the comment section below the video. But first, before I get into showing you more about my workout, let's discuss the HIIT high intensity interval training and the benefits thereof. And basically, in a nutshell, what HIIT is, 
It is taking anything you normally do. It can be walking, it can be stationary biking, it can be on a treadmill. And what you're going to do is, instead of doing 20 minutes, say, of sustained activity at your normal pace, you're going to step it up at different points. Like the first minute could be just your normal pace of walking, jogging, biking. And then the second minute, you go as fast as you can. And then the third minute, you calm down at your normal pace, take a little bit of a rest. And the fourth minute, you go full speed ahead for a minute. So in a nutshell, that's what the HIT training is, high intensity interval training. And you can work out in any way you choose. I'm just choosing working out on an exercise bike recently. You can walk, you can jog, you can work out on a treadmill. It doesn't really matter what you do, but it is important that you do something. And ladies, if you've been a couch potato, it is time to stand up for yourself and get off the couch. To me, exercise has become a non-negotiable in my life. It is something that I need to do now, to do every day in some way, so that the last 10 or 15 years of my life are quality years. And that's really important. And I urge you to jump in there, get on your workout clothes and get working out. Okay, before I show you my high intensity interval training workout, I'll briefly share some of the benefits of HIIT workouts with you. And I'm going to link a bunch of studies below the video that corroborate everything I'm telling you. First, a HIIT workout burns more calories. The studies show that not only does the actual HIIT workout itself, which is generally a short workout, does it burn more calories at the moment, it burns more calories for up to 24 hours afterwards. So it's just great at burning calories. A HIIT workout also increases your level of human growth hormone or HGH. Human growth hormone is a naturally occurring hormone produced by our pituitary glands. HGH is important for growth, cell regeneration, and cell reproduction. HGH is also said to benefit the look of our skin. And I think the fact that I get so many regular workouts in really does improve the look of my skin. And maybe that is in part due to the increase in HGH that exercise produces. And high intensity interval training stimulates the production of human growth hormone up to 450% during the 24 hours after you finish the workout. And here are some of the benefits of HGH. It improves body composition. It increases bone density. It improves your quality of life. It increases lean body mass, lowers bad cholesterol, gives you better heart health, helps your tissues grow and regenerate. It improves your cognitive function. It actually helps your brain. HIIT workouts also burn more abdominal fat in women, which is an area that we tend to have problems with as we grow older. And in addition to burning more calories and helping improve your body composition, the HIIT workouts also improve your brain function, which is just absolutely wonderful. And really, human growth hormone is a hormone that is very prevalent when we're young and our tissues are growing because that HGH just helps all of those cells grow. And as we get older and cells start to die off, it helps those old cells just regenerate and make them look and function more like younger cells. And that is one of the reasons, one of the main reasons that I really like the HIIT training is that it does increase the levels of human growth hormone, which I think helps us look and feel younger and just feel better about life in general. And secondly, I just don't like to waste time. And I don't like workouts that take a long time. You're not going to see me doing an hour long workout. I like workouts that are 30 minutes or less. And if I can get my cardio in using HIIT in about 10 or 15 minutes, that's absolutely wonderful. And so now let me show you how I'm using the Yasuda bike in doing my training. And I will say that I do have a discount code to give you a little bit off the Yasuda bike. If you also would like to start stationary biking as part of your fitness, there's a code below the video for you to get 5% off the Yasuda bike of your choice. And I think they come in three different levels. However, this is the highest level, but it is not very expensive. And I really like it because it is so quiet and it enables me to get my workouts in in front of the TV. Okay, I am going to show you a little high intensity interval training or HIIT. And this bike is absolutely the perfect way to do the HIIT training. You basically get twice the workout in half the time where normally you should be on a bike like 20 minutes, just kind of going along, ambling along. When you do HIIT, you can cut it down to 10 minutes. And basically what you do, come on in, honey. Basically what you do is 
say you set your timer for 10 minutes and you can use this little timer here. In the first minute, you're just going at a normal speed. Whew. I've already been doing this for 15 minutes, so I'm kind of out of breath. But basically, you do the first minute at a normal speed. And then when you get to your second minute, you go basically double time. You go basically as hard as you can for a minute. And then you get to the third minute. And again, you calm down and go normally. And you do that for the 10 minutes. And it's really like you've had an entire 20 minute workout. You've gotten all the benefits of a longer workout in basically half the time. Okay, that was a look at how I'm using stationary biking to get in my high intensity interval training. And if you have certain exercises that you like to do, high interval intensity training or just normal exercise, if you'll share that information in the comment section below the video, I'd appreciate it. In fact, if you could share how that exercise is benefiting you, if you've lost weight, if you feel better, whatever, I hope you'll share that in the comment section below the video because I know I and a lot of viewers go look through the comment section to get other ideas that perhaps I didn't share in the video. And I do the same thing too. So I hope you'll share in the comment section to help everyone here benefit by your experience. And again, if you're not yet a member of the 50 Plus Beauty family, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and or give this video a thumbs up. That would be wonderful. And I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day, but I don't have my cards down here with me right now. So I wanted to share something that I've been doing lately with you because I think it's really been helping me feel more productive and a little more positive about my life. And that is the idea to always leave things a little better than you found them. Always leave things a little better than you found them. And this is a really simple idea. For instance, if you're down in your family room and you see someone has left a glass down there, instead of just leaving it there and thinking they'll take care of it, you just go ahead and pick up that glass and take it into the kitchen. Basically in every room I'm in in my house, as I'm leaving that room, I think, hmm, what can I do to slightly improve this? So maybe I'll go and wipe some moisture off the bathroom counter or something like that. And you can also do this when you're outside. For instance, when I'm walking into Walmart, if there's trash in the parking lot, I might pick up a piece or two of trash and throw it away. And in that way, I've left the outdoors just a little bit better than I found it. So just for today, as we're going through our days, let's try to do what we can to make everything around us just a little bit better. Because when we do that, it makes us feel good about ourselves and it helps our world be a better place. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.